So hi guys, I'm here with Savannah, and I'm out here gonna come grace Savannah. Hi, so it is Monday evening. A bit of a video on kind of what's happening with packing. Here is kind of what's going on. So in my actual bin, this is a ton of like first aid things, some duct tape and sharpies back there. Here's my grain bin, it has a ton of braiding things in it, and like my penny and just some old things. Wash bucket, water bucket, helmet, hat, some brushing boots. This is my show halter, these are some tendon boots. This is my half pet, ear bonnet, uh, cross country watch, woolen boots, cross country reins and neck strap. Here are my show saddle pads. Uh, best it's Wednesday eat, uh, morning. I just finished a dressage ride on Savannah. She was really good. Um, we just have really difficulty with canter transitions and getting her to really use herself in the canter, um, but she's gotten so much better and happy with that. So we just packed the trailer. And the hay and I am in the trailer right now. We have all the hay and shavings are stashed and so it's just finishing up in her grazing, but we're about to bring her in and load her. Vlogging on. Is Lily just coming really early tomorrow then? Full stall. Look. Okay. Little coop. Little baby purple feeder. Little road. Little uphill. We've got number three, the barn. Oh, a bit of a downhill. We go down this little hill onto the road. And then here's the white table. Picnic table, that's really not a picnic table. Every horse jumps this one really nicely. <laughs> here's the ditch. Here's the little ramp. And then we got the tiniest little coop on this course. Here we got the intermediate wheel. We're so intermediate riders. Yeah, our horses are could all totally jump this. Here is the uh, starter level down bank. Little, little, little. Here you have water if you like to go through the water. But there's. <gasps> Here's baby 10. Okay, that's prelim. And this is the intermediate one. So, like, not steep on camera. This thing is so steep. We are novice riders, if you didn't know. And that's our novice jump. <laughs> there you go. All my stirrups are in there. There you go. I got him doing his little. There you go. Let go. Give me my saddle. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to do a voiceover because this was not a good test really by any means. And I'm showing parts that were not good because I just want like to understand that it was it's not always rainbows and good and everything. Savannah tried pretty hard and I was frustrated and it was rainy and so I just think that that combination with the whole atmosphere and how tense I was and how tense she was just added up on top of each other and made it just not a great test. But like things like this happen and we're working on it and unfortunately it just didn't reflect our progress at home which is fine because it's going to happen shows are completely different than at home and so i just kind of wanted to come on here and say that and why our test didn't reflect our progress at home it looks okay Shabana. How are you doing? I got it. I have a drink up to you right now. Savannah looks so pretty. Oh, yeah. She got gold and silver. So, uh... <laughs> 
getting a dramatic walk. I really don't want to see Savannah. Yeah. <laughs> the bugs. Oh, don't jump that way. <gasps> scaring us. So I want to talk about my show jump course here. I'm cantering in a little underpowered, so she took a long spot. Um, I could have rode her better, but it's a huge thing that I'm working on with my trainer is so that I can have a better center of balance. Here on the turn to the yellow, I took too shallow of an inside turn and ended up getting a bad distance. Um, and then I grabbed her in the mouth and like it was just so I felt so bad after that I should have been releasing her especially in that situation and I could have rode way better I uh, got a long swatch to the Canada, but kept it up uh, Chipped in at this jump, but it was fine. And then she kind of got four handy um, So I just tried to take the long the long distance of the center line jump to get a better canner I'm um, a little bit wiggly coming in, but she locked on like three strides out, which is so cool and jumped it really nicely. She's such a fun horse. Um, then just had to kind of pick her up for the turn, make sure that she could get that. Chipped in at this jump, which kind of made us get a weird distance to the second part of the bending line. Rider error. She jumped out well, and then we got perfect striding to the St. Croix jump and jumped that one really nicely. It's just really, I really need to be riding her every step of the way and setting her up every step of the way. So it's just something new to me. Um, make sure that she got a good turn into this oxer, which she did. So good girl. And we went double clear. Lots of path. Hi. <laughs> Let go. Look at his shavings. He loves them. <laughs> and then my shirt is from Michael's that I tie-dyed myself. No, Rachel, do not try and do that. I saw this trend thing where you like... Yeah, it's not a trend. It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to. I got it. Are no, you partial? <laughs> you want to do that? Oh. I need to flush. I'm gonna walk it, Jillian. Oh. Oh, wait, I want to go snuggle. Can you take a video? <laughs> Probably because you didn't notice. Mm. That was not a drop, Kayla. Yeah, Kayla's arms are gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. She might have blisters on her hands. Good girl, there we go. Go, Seth, go.
how cute. Never mind. Where's she going? Savannah. Oh, I got to get the <laughs>